There's a place God is calling us. This level we have exhausted. We have to ascend. But for you and me to ascend takes what? Honesty. 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 I don't care what has happened to you. Not in the sense that I'm cared, but anything that will come between me and God, I'm not going to allow it to stay. I won't. Release it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The ways of the Lord are better. Are you hearing me, church? If we're going to be on this search for the God of glory, we must start from a place of truth, a place of truth, a place of truth. Lie cannot stand in the presence of God. Who is the Holy Spirit? It's the Spirit of truth. The Spirit of truth. I want to encourage you. Every time. Don't, don't hold back anything. Each one of you, you're a married man, you're a married woman. How do you treat your husband? The things the Holy Spirit will tell you. The other thing you can. You're an employee. How are you doing your work? All these areas God is speaking to us. Say, Holy Spirit, please help me. Do you want God to intervene in your life? I said, do you want God to intervene in your life? Oh, I'm not sure. But if you want divine intervention in your life, get rid of what? Falsehood. The devil's currency is falsehood. He trades in deception, lies. The Bible calls him the father of lies. A lie will always be a lie. And some of you lie, seem is a true base no. That has prevented, and I still hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Many of us here, you have not experienced the masses you want to experience because your foundation is on what? Falsehood. They that observe lying vanities forsake their mercy. You find yourself in the belly of a whale. You find yourself in this. I mean all kinds of predicament. Not because of anything, but because you have bowed a lie. The word of the Lord came to the man of God and said, Go to Nineveh. He took his own side. He went in the opposite direction. He chose his own journey. God said, go east. He said, I'm going west. What did he forsake? He said, what happened to him? He found himself in the belly of the way. I can guarantee you, most of believers, the predicament most believers are in is a result of what? Disobedience. Disobedience. The devil is not that strong. If the devil was very strong, he would have killed you right by now. Before you got born again, you will be dead by now. If the devil was that strong, he would have killed you before you were born again. That tells you the devil is not that strong. Our power, our authority, our strength is embedded in a life of what? Obedience. Obedience to the word of God and obedience to the individual instruction that the Holy Spirit gives us.